Can oysters survive global warming? By the end of the century, seawater temperatures could rise between 2 and 4 degrees centigrade. According to the International Panel on Climate Change, what would be the impact on fish and shellfish with a high commercial value? Scientists are turning here for answers. Marine biologists here want to understand how rising levels of temperature, salinity and acidity in the water may affect the physiology of oysters. They already have some ideas, but the news isn't good for oyster farmers. In warmer waters, oysters dramatically increase their filtering activities. They constantly filter water so they can cool down. Their metabolism speeds up. And this continuous filtering effort absorbs a lot of their energy. This affects their growth. The length of their shells may become smaller and their bodies may accumulate less weight. Samples are taken to the labs for further analysis. Researchers also want to understand if and how warmer temperatures can affect oysters' reproductive cycles and the implications in the long run. We're evaluating the impact of those rising temperatures in the reproductive cycles of the species. And then we'll also study if the eggs resulting from these reproductive cycles in warmer waters are viable or not. Oysters and other high-value species are being studied in a European research project aimed at understanding how climate change will influence Europe's fish and shellfish resources and how the industry can adapt. So we can predict how fast are fish going to grow, you know, what ultimately might happen to certain populations and stocks. Um, and then we also have economic modeling involved. And, and that's where we can look at the effects on the farmer or the fisherman. A nearby power plant heats the water, which runs through a unique experimental aquaculture farm here in northern Poland. Researchers study how carp, a key local fish resource, adapt to a warmer environment. And even here, scientists say that the news is challenging. The warmer the water, the more stressed the whole physiology of the carp becomes. And this stress makes them more vulnerable to attacks from viruses and bacteria. Commercial aquaculture farms are also involved. This one produces some 25 tonnes of carp, perch, tench and pike each year. Farm managers say scientific knowledge will help minimise risks and maximise benefits. We know warmer waters may affect the growth of fish, but our clients demand large carp, on average 2 or 2.5 kilos. Understanding climate change means we can develop more efficient feeding strategies to help our carp thrive. Researchers use these field activities to create models that assess the risks, vulnerability and adaptive capacity of the species studied.